I'm going to have to post the edit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Good day, everyone. Today is episode seven. Seven? Why not three? I'm sure. I'm sure it's episode seven. Wow. <laughs> of our <laughs> Scrappy Sunday chat. Oh, welcome. Thank you for, for joining us again. Today is actually Saturday. Yes. It is the 27th of August. So, yeah, this time we decided we're going to do some pre recording instead of stressing on a Sunday afternoon. Because usually there's some internet situation as well that yeah. needs some stressing, but not today. Not today. Today we are just going to be in the chat and chatting with you. Yeah. Yes. And I don't know, I think the dog is in the picture, but she's also joining us. So. Yes, she is. <laughs> I look lovely. <laughs> You're supposed to greet the people. I don't know. Bark or something. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, where were we this morning? So, this morning, I went to my first Stukmark. But it's been your second time, yeah, right? Yeah. So, we went to the Stukmark in Pretoria. And uh, had a lovely chat and knit with other ladies. And, of course, bought some yarn. Who can resist? Well, some people can, but I couldn't <laughs> because I wanted some yarn. Yeah. So, oh, no, yeah. so I didn't buy yarn. I've got other plans. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm being a good girl. But it was still loads and loads of fun. It was awesome seeing everybody again. So, yeah. Yes, it's nice to chat and just be with other people, knitting, seeing what they're working on and and all of those things. Always yeah. interesting, seeing oh. new patterns and new things. I just realized again yesterday, ah, oh, yesterday, yeah, it's been a long day, <laughs> this morning, that I actually still have a lot to learn with regards to knitting. There are some ladies there that was working on amazingly beautiful projects. So yeah, makes me excited for everything that there is still to learn. So yeah, awesome. Yes, I think I think sometime I would have to dip my toes into a little bit of more lacy knitting. Yeah. I don't think I really did lots of lace yet. Did I? I don't think so. I think this is the nearest I got to lace. I was I was just going to ask, when do you start classifying something as lace? Because I'm not sure. I think I think it's got if it's got holes, it's a type of lace, I guess. Okay. I don't know. It should be lace. I think if it's got holes, it's lace. But maybe a bit more we complicated make our, lace. We make our own rules. It's lace now. <laughs> it's lace. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nearest I got to lace. So and we need something else. But speaking of, what are you wearing? Oh, okay. I'm wearing uh, my ranunculus that I have knitted out of. Um, 100% cotton um, Moya hand dyed yarn, South African hand dyed yarn, and this is the colorway Topaz. So I knit the ranunculus out of it with quite a few modifications and um, short sleeves with a little bit of ribbing. And yeah, it fits very well. I'm very impressed. I really like it, and I've got plans for a second one. But I'm knitting something else first, so we'll get to that. <laughs> Summer is coming. <laughs> yeah. No, I must say this is really, really beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. But you must also mention what you are wearing. I am wearing my Bina top. So this is a pattern from Norman Lobu from Bigger Than Life Nets. I actually tested this um, pattern for her. And I made this out of yellow cottage yarns. It's also 100% cotton double knit yarn and love it it's actually quite warm i was initially thinking that all cottons are cool but i'm learning a lot about different fibers these days out of experience actually because i don't know for some reason i just one day heard that cotton is cool but <laughs> it's not just cool it's actually very similar to what they say merino um, does it can be both for winter and summer and yeah so 
So I was not cold even for a second today with this one over the long sleeve t-shirt. So yeah, it's cool. You yeah, learn something new every day. It's interesting because I also thought that, because I am of the thinking that if the colors are light, it is cooler. But some things, even if it's light and it's thick, like the outstanding that I'm making, mm -hmm. it's in double knit um, and it's almost this type of color, just a little bit more tannish. And it's very warm. <laughs> and I don't think you'll ever wear it in summer because it's, it's just too hot. Okay. Very hot. Assumptions we make that sometimes doesn't hold water. What is the right? I don't know. I don't know. In English, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. um, I think it's also got maybe a lot to do with the gauge you knit the thing at. Uh -huh. um, like maybe when it's a little bit more um, airy, it will be a little bit cooler, but it can be hot as well. Yeah. But if it's thick and dense, it's usually more hot. But anyway, we love cotton actually. Yeah. I don't know about you. I love no, cotton. I I so. Oh, yo. Anyway. <laughs> Fluffy Fluff is having a royal life here. Definitely. I was really sleepy. No, no, she's enjoying herself. Yeah. So, do you have any finished objects with regards to scrapbook projects? Not today. Almost. <laughs> But then last night I decided, no, I think I'm going to add nine more colors. <laughs> so yes, I'm a little bit mad, but um, I decided on what I want to do. So I packed out all of the colors that I want to add still to the blanket and then it'll be long enough and I'm going to put a border around it. And I'm going to try and finish it this month. Maybe not with a border as well, but at least the stripes. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm sure everybody's seen this because from... The first episode I start, started with this blanket. Yeah, yeah. Just be Relax. still. <laughs> She's just feeling a blanket. Oh, it's for me. <laughs> so, in the previous episode of the Scrappy Sunday Chat, I was at this point. And I added these colors. And I decided to do, I think, nine. Yeah. I think I counted last night nine more colors. So it's 18 rows basically and it has become quite <laughs> a long blanket and yet she's still not happy you know I have to add more <laughs> but I wanted to I want to be able to tuck it around my feet and hold it up to my chin like this because otherwise I can't have a nap under it it's too small so that's the plan and I was thinking I tried to mimic these type of colors a little bit more that I started with. Okay. For the end, just to balance it a bit. Yes. So yes, that is that is the plan with this one. So for now I am trying very hard to keep it off the dog because otherwise it's just full of little black hair. But I'm not uh, I'm not getting it completely right. But anyway. So that is the scrappy blanket that I make. It's mostly acrylic. No, it's all acrylic yarns. It's mostly DK. And I'm using a 4mm hook. And I have a tutorial on uh, my YouTube channel. And it will be linked down below. Um, on how I make it. And I will also make a video for the border when I'm done. So, because I love ripples and chevrons. And I like it a lot. What's, what's your plan for the border? Uh, I haven't decided completely yet. I think I think it would maybe be like a round of single crochets and a little pico type of thing around because then it doesn't really matter that much about the amount of stitches. That that little pico type of edge usually works nicely around corners and I don't know what I did with that one. Yeah, I did just single crochets. But I think I'll add like maybe a pico border. Very small. So you're going to keep the ripple effect at the two ends. You're not yeah. going to try and no, do I'm not, I'm not double gonna... crochet and then single crochet to even yeah. it out. No, I'm not going to fill in the... I'm just going to leave it triple Okay. Okay, cool. Sounds like a plan. Do you have any <laughs> finished how objects? Long, how long have you known me? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I have to ask. 
Maybe. You can you can be nice and ask. Thank you. But no, I'm still working on this baby. Um, cozy sock memories of mine. So I just finished my Mbali socks. When did I finish it? It was Tuesday. this month. Yeah. This month's socks. So it yeah. Nice. So the Mbali is my August socks. So I just finished, I think, on Wednesday. Finally. And now I'm adding the two colors that I used for the Mbali socks. This is how much I've got left. So I doubt I will add everything in here. I will still have some left over afterwards. Um, yeah, so I'm actually interested to see because this is more a... Help me. It's like not a sport wax. Yes. In between fingering and decay, basically. Yeah. It's usually more of a sport wax type of thing. Yeah, it's what I'm thinking. It's not decay. Yeah, no, it's just, just yeah. a, 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 maybe a little bit less. Yeah. So, I don't know, um, the viewers that's been around since the first episode might recall that I was very hesitant to mix different yarn weights and yarn bases and so on so this is now the first time i'm adding something else than fingering than fingering right but i'm still doing it on the 2.5 needle yes so what do you think will it be the same will the block still be the same size or will it be a little bit off it it might but it might be just a little bit bigger because of the thickness of the yarn yeah but if you do it um, intentional like maybe one year and maybe not another one in the same weight next to it mm. it might just so I was thinking I'm putting the, the pink purplish one here and then I'm gonna yes. put the green one maybe up here yes then it's not stuck together yo. yeah that's what I was thinking so fingers crossed that this is going to work let's see but you'll report back so then you yeah. know <laughs> you will see the same blanket next month <laughs> With two added blocks. With two so, added blocks. Let's be positive about that. <laughs> oh, anyway. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But that is a beautiful blanket. I think it's, it's going, going to, be to be amazing 20 years from now. <laughs> 20 years from now. <laughs> it's going to be great. Oh, well. Yeah. As long as you're not in a hurry. Mm -mm. So, and then it's fine. Because, I mean, I've actually, I haven't checked the date, but this blanket, this ripple blanket, mm -hmm. um, just in the beginning of lockdown, when was this? May 2021? I think so. May 2021. Yeah. Yes. You are right. I started the um, corner to corner blanket that I made with the four ply scraps. Yeah, yeah. In the little blocks. And uh, when that was finished, I started this one. I mean... It's more than a year I've been in the process. So. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, but I didn't work on it every month like I did this year. Okay. The whole year, so. But it's almost there. Yeah. No, true. Anyway, so. Yes. And this corner to corner is basically the same concept. Do I yes. remember correctly now? Yeah, yes. I remember that blanket. Yeah. But I think you started this one more or less in the same time. Or yeah. just, yeah. Yeah. No Something idea. like that. All right, so you want me to show the other work and then you can show yes. the blanket. And I don't even want to show the blanket. I didn't add a single block. But maybe if it's some viewers first time, then they can I'll at least see the it. blanket. Yeah. You can just quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at least this month, I've added two blocks to the other blanket. So my little <laughs> honeycomb Tunisian blanket. And it's very skewed. I do know that, <laughs> as you can see, because some of the double knit yarns here is not, I always say double knit is not double knit, because some has 300 meters on 100 grams, and some has got 250 or 230 meters, and then that makes that the strand is a bit thicker or thinner, and then you get this where a block looks a little bit smaller than, than the rest. But the other thing that I last night actually realized that i did wrong is that i started this blanket with this cheapo tunisian crochet hook and 
the acrylic yarn slides very nicely on this. So my gauge is nice and loose. Okay. And then when I got the Chayagu Tunisian hook, that's bamboo, I tried to do the blocks with that. Okay. And I don't know, my gauge is completely off. And that makes also makes the blocks being smaller and going a bit skew. As you can see, that yellow. You see wow. those three. But then what I decided to do is just take the yarns that's a little bit thicker and then I'm going to just do the thicker like the 250 meters on 100 gram balls on top of these just to even it out yes. a little bit. Yes. And stick to the cheapo easy hook <laughs> that I know the gauge is nice. You know what I'm thinking there? Eh? Now that I'm also doing that other shrug that I'm busy with with the, the knitting needles that's like this. Eh? Yes. I'm just wondering... If you feel the weight and so on and the length of the, the the needle itself i mean if you knit with circular needles the needle is only this long mm -hmm. and then you've got the cable so it's a lot um lighter and you don't have this length so you only work with your fingers here does the needle itself even if it were the same material Will that not also have an effect on your gauge? I'm sure it should because I mean lots of people's gauge change with long like this and to nine inch because of the way they hold the one definitely does, yeah. Yeah, of the way they hold it. So I think that is also something. But I definitely found that the yarns the acrylic yarn glides much easier on this. Yeah. So, so my gauge is nice and even because I'm more used to this hook because I've used it for the longer time. Mm. So I'm what do you call it? Exercised. Okay. I'm exercised in it. Yeah. And oh, accustomed. Accustomed. To it. Yeah. That's okay. it. Anyway. English is not my first language, people. <laughs> Sorry. Mine neither. So <laughs> now I'm just thinking. I mean, even the joy goose, you got you get three different lengths, lengths of, tips. of tips. Yes. Like these are the thirteen centimeter tips. Yeah. And then you get ten and eight or eleven and eight or something. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. It There's a lot of make a, make a difference. Yeah, definitely. Oh, sorry about that. So yes, I decided to stick to that for this blanket and just go. So when this one is finished, I'm gonna put all of my extra time into that one, so that I can do a little bit more blocks at a time for it. So, yeah, the blankets has to get done a bit. Yeah, I know. Because the other one, the, the leftover blanket, I also didn't work on it because there was not lots of leftovers. Because everything that went into the Ripple or Chevron blanket, the pieces that's left over goes to the Tunisian. And I haven't done that a lot to have the leftover to go to the other one. So I'm <laughs> trying to use it up in different blankets. Scrappy, scrappier, scrappiest. <laughs> that type of thing. <laughs> because, I mean... I've got so much acrylic yarn. I just said to another podcaster this week that I think in 30 years I'll still have some acrylics left because I have so much. And to me, I know it's not the best, but if you have it, I mean, you can't just throw it away. And I like to experiment with it in the sense that I can now knit a shawl with whatever I have to see if I like the shape. And then I can invest in proper yarns and I know this is going to work for me. So I see it as a, I don't know what the word is. A learning tool? Yes, maybe? yes, something like that. Because then okay. I can learn what I like. Even with like cardigans, you can learn what shape of cardigan do you like. Do you like this type of saddle shoulder or a raglan or a round yoke? And then when you know what you like, you invest proper money into proper yarn and do whatever you like. Yes. And you know this is going to work for me. Agreed. But anyway, do what you can with what you've got. Exactly. Smart yes. Okay. Cool. So, so that's your turn now for your back. <laughs> for people that I'm haven't seen it, maybe. If this is your first time watching, this is my other scrappy project that I work on whenever I can. So there we go. Let me hide my face as well. Let's do that. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so. This is what I call my golden memories blanket. This is all alpha gold 
double knit yarn so I do this with the corner to corner join as you go method that Mariette actually taught me and that I made a YouTube um, tutorial for as well which we can link below um, yeah we learned this from um, either from either the, from the patchwork or yes yes so she was the initial inspiration for this blanket and yeah I still also have loads and loads of little bits of Alpia gold because for the longest time this is all I would buy um, so I try to add to it as often as I can but yeah that's not happening too much these days I need to focus on my scrappy projects and I'm not gonna sit under this one <laughs> yeah but it is a beautiful blanket it is I love it I am starting to take naps underneath it um, okay because I'm sure you haven't decided how big you want it no yet. no maybe eventually it will be big enough for me to share it even I just want to quickly see how many little blocks is in your blocks. It's 10 by two, 10. 2, Yeah, no, but I mean, it's like 2, 4, 6 little quick stitchy thingies. I don't know how, what you call it. Sorry? It's like, how big is yours? <laughs> Quiz. <laughs> I count. It's 2, 4, oh, 6. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. But your blocks is 10 by 10 for now. For now. But I've, Until you decide it, yeah. you want to make it bigger. Right. Anyway. Anyway. But it's a beautiful blanket. Thank but we you. will link the tutorial down below as well. Yes, I will do that. And that is it. That is it for our current projects, I think. Yeah. I don't think we've got anything else that's current. Do you have something in the pipeline? I do. I have lots of plans. So, <laughs> I don't know. Something we got lots of plans. <laughs> Luckily, we, I've got lots of scraps to go with my plans. So, <laughs> that's good. Anyway, so for the longest time, I wanted to make keychains for my whole house. All the keys in the house. I think I counted the other day again. It's something like 18 or 22 doors or something in the house. It's ridiculous. But anyway, every door has got a key in it, but no keychain, no nothing. So I decided I want to just spruce it up a little bit. And uh, I did start some time ago, but I really didn't go into it that much and I actually bought all the key rings and all of that and they are here so I decided I'm now going to do this with my scraps and I just printed this off this morning I didn't really actually do anything with it yet but I'm going to make these little amigurumi hearts I hope it's in focus looks yes. hide my face um, so I'm going to make like an amigurumi art and then I'll decide to maybe do a little um, ribbon and maybe some beads or whatever with the keychain at the, at the top to add to the key ring, key ring to add to the key. And then I'm just going to use some double knit scraps. I do have some actual full balls here as well, but um, it's discontinued yarn so you can't get it anymore. And yeah, I've got all sorts of double knit cotton yarns that I'm going to do that with. And then I'll just stuff them with washable um, filling. I've got a big bag so that I can chuck them in the wash in a year or two when they're dusty and stuffy. So next time you'll see some of those <laughs> in the next episode. So I'm going to crochet that. I, don't, I was thinking this morning, maybe I should knit some as well, mm -hmm. just for the fun of it. Because I made these little hearts, I made two. One is it's in both of my, some of my bags. So I put my um, yarn needles into them. So it's like a needle cushion type of thing. So I crocheted one, a pink one, and then I knitted a purple one. So I knit two flat hearts and sew them together and stuff them up. Okay. So I don't know, maybe maybe I'll do something knitting as well, but I was thinking of crochet because I haven't done a lot of amigurumi. It's the only thing I think that I've ever done in amigurumi. That's I've never even heart. tried. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't um it wasn't hard, but I can't remember what pattern I used, so I just got this one off Ravelry. It's a free pattern by the way, so we will also link that down below. Um but yes. So that is the plan. I need to do something <laughs> to get my plans of many years ago into action. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and um, we'll probably still have loads left for another oh, project yes. if you have that. Definitely. Okay. So, on my side, actually, I've been looking at Natty Natty's um, twisted t shirts that she made. Yes. So, I also went on to the Little Wolf Knits um, Ravelry page and I saw that she actually has quite a variety of um, knitted pants. bottoms. Pants, Bottoms. trousers, I don't know what the right word, anyway. <laughs> so, um, the one that I saw that caught my eye was the tan line jogger. And I was thinking, I'm going to do with my scrappy sock yarns. I'm going to first try with them to do the tan line joggers. So that I can see if I actually like wearing knitted pants and shorts i mean <laughs> i'm not planning on going out of it anytime soon so that will be awesome for me to get my steps in at home no, i have to i'll sleep in it in your knitting as well in my knitting i mean that's awesome why not why not so that's my plan i've ordered the needles um waiting for the courier guy to deliver but it's definitely I'm checking the tracking. the tracking app every half an hour. <laughs> it's so funny that we do that, isn't it? <laughs> I know it doesn't take an hour's drive from Joburg to Rasenburg, but I still check every, <laughs> every few minutes. I check where's my parcel now. So, yeah, I'm excited to get that going. Um, that's going to be something, you know. It's going to be a bigger project, yeah. but I'm sure that it would go quite fast actually i mean it's it's just stock in it yes so i mean i know there's a ribbing for the for the top i've actually went and looked at it oh yeah and uh, i did see that so it's very nice uh, pattern i really like it yeah it's very nice because the warm bottle cover i haven't tried again and now i first want to do something else and i'm not gonna the need the hot water bottle now just for the next next winter <laughs> next nine months yeah <laughs> <laughs> so let me first try something else and then i'll try the hot water bottle cover again i'm looking forward to seeing that one yeah i think i think it's gonna be it's gonna be nice yeah and with the sock yarn it's gonna be a little bit more durable yes i mean when you're walking yeah friction is always the friction, there. that's the word i was looking for like it would be under your arm yeah that so now. that's i think it's gonna be Cool. Let's see. It's gonna be crazy scrappy, but <laughs> it's making me think of those um, Granny Square suits we saw the people were wearing. Oh, and the Granny Square shorts. Yeah. Granny Square shorts. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yes, I mean, that's got its own charm to it as well. Yes, not for sure. And I think it's gonna be a nice experiment because. Everybody says that the wool keeps you cool and keeps you warm. So I think that'll be a very nice experiment, especially if you walk in it for your walk and that and getting your steps. So then you'll easily be able to tell if it works for you or not. Well, now I'm thinking, should we not also try one in cotton? I'm sure you can, but um, I'm now thinking. Again, all the plans. <laughs> We've got too much plans. <laughs> We'll have to discuss this one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and have a plan. What yarn weight? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway. It's a rabbit hole. Always. Yeah. Always. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you knitting on now? Because this is not a scrappy project that you are doing. Yeah, it's not a scrappy project, but it can almost classify as a scrappy project. But this is now not really done from scraps. So this is, um, let me say, my own version of the Tip Top Tank by Mike and Mike Designs, which is a tank top, obviously, um, in cotton yarn, but I just changed the hem, and it's bottom up. Oh, not my hair. My hair is always knitted into my things. So it's, yeah, 
bottom up as you can see Let and then the help, sorry to interrupt now we can see the opening okay great so it is um made with double knit cotton yarn moya as well as you can see a theme here i love moya um and then i actually have different dye lots of this um, color this is burnt fudge and then i decided to stripe it intentionally and when i started it it went a little bit wrong my gauge was not what it should be but anyway so i started again and i decided i'm gonna add some stripy colors so i'm adding this bubblegum pink and apple green and i've got purple as well so we shall see how that turns out but i thought it's a nice project to bring for scrappy sunday because i can knit without looking all the time but not on nine inch yet <laughs> so i left my sock over there <laughs> knitting on this and i don't even i don't try yet to not look where i'm knitting <laughs> so yeah yeah and i <laughs> want to get this to a stage that i can make sure that it fits so yeah. i just want to knit a little bit so that i can wash it and make sure it fits so we went together we drove together this morning to the stoop mark and you were about you just added the pink yes yeah so it's grown a lot in the little bit of time that you had in there today yes that's what i love about these types of projects yeah it goes quick definitely well i hope it's pregnant you don't have to put it back okay you know i'll keep yeah. nothing back because i don't want to remake the whole garment like i usually do yeah, no. <laughs> if it's not Right, because it's first going to lie in the naughty corner, mm -hmm. and then it's going to get ripped out as a project that I'm planning, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we also have some pattern suggestions. Before yes. we start, I'm just realizing this and these patterns will both be... You can actually convert anything into a scrappy piece. Yes. Yeah. Depending on how much scraps you have and how scrappy you want it. Yeah, how planned scrappy or how busy or colorful you are willing to, to yeah. make it. Yeah. Because I like the idea of what you're also doing here is having a one color that makes like these stripes. And then these stripes could have been anything. Yes. Didn't have to be blue, 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 blue. No, it could be it could have been anything. Everyone could have been a different color. Oh, yeah, and with stripes, the nice thing is you don't have to have what is it, coordinating stripes or cohesive stripes or whatever. So you can have thin stripes and thick stripes, and yeah, yeah. I'm just doing what I feel like. We'll see what exactly. what I <laughs> come up with in the end. Maybe it will change. I don't know. It's your project. You can do what you want. <laughs> and I'll just stick to it. Was intentional. Yeah, and that's it. The design feature <laughs> okay so you can talk about this one for us sure all right so we again brought three pattern suggestions for scrappy projects but with this one i thought um it's a scrappy shawl uh, it's called scrappy shawl it's from fiat trance yeah and um it is a very nice project. I brought this one especially because you can make it as scrappy as you like or intentional scrappy. Like with this pattern, you, with a picture here that you, you can see that the stripes are, um, there's lots of the same color of stripes. So you can do it quite intentional. And if you look on Ravelry, you'll see that there is more scrappy ones that's more colorful. And then this pattern has got, a, I think it's a full hank of yarn or something it's a little bit more 150 grams for the lace section so if you have a beautiful um, tonal hank that you would like to use you can add that with some coordinating scraps or minis to make the shawl and I think that's that's also brilliant because sometimes you don't want a scrappy project to be too scrappy and you can do a well, I call it planned scrappy yeah. with this. And I think it's it's really a beautiful pattern. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. Um, but we will link it down below. And yeah. It is fingering weight. So it's also something that you can use sock minis and sock leftovers and so forth for. I really like it. To me it looks very nice. And it's a it's a shape of shawl that I haven't tried before. See another one. I've mm. only tried triangular and I don't know what the other one is. 
So I really like it. I really like it a lot. Yeah, that's very nice. Very beautiful. Okay. So this one that I'm going to share was actually a suggestion from one of our viewers. It is called the Battenberg Blanket. Let me just check. Yes. Okay. And this is a design by Sandra Paul. So this is solid granny squares that you do. So the suggested yarn weight is fingering, but again, I mean, nothing stops you from using any yarn weight. Yarn. Yes. Yeah. And it's a free pack three for you for free <laughs> pattern on Ravelry. Um, and yeah, I actually made a suggestion to Mariette this morning to say, why not have like a year long Make along, make along, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, well, because this is a crochet thing. along. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you can easily do a block a day for year one, and then year two, you do the the joining. Yeah, with the white with a join as you go. Yeah, because that'll just change the pattern a little bit. I was now forgetting about the joining. Mm -hmm. join, I think this is sewn, isn't it? Mm. I have no idea. But I mean, you can do what you want. It's your blanket. <laughs> I actually haven't checked that. But something that's interesting is she's also got um, a lot of photo tutorials and video tutorials linked in the pattern. Okay. But yes, you were saying making the squares the one year and joining them the next year. Yeah. Yeah. Then you... Maybe it's crocheted together like through the back loop type of thing. I don't know. I haven't checked it. But it's a beautiful blanket. Yeah, it says border and pattern and a joining. joining. So yes, sorry. Is this I supposed to be something? Is this your fault? <laughs> I'm joking. Obviously. <laughs> Let's check. Why, why are you thinking about I'm, I'm the thinking thing? it's a joining tutorial or something. Let me check. Because this is very beautiful. I think this is a great, great idea for, you know, just doing a little something every day. This, this could be. be a temperature type thing, even. I'm sure it can be, but I'm too lazy for temperature because I'm not going to check the temperature every day. Only in winter when we reach minus yeah, no, something no. degrees Celsius. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so beautiful. But I'm wondering, will one block a day be enough? Maybe um, it will need I to don't be know. Like I think two. I made some notes. Didn't I make the notes on how many blocks is there for this? I'm too lazy to read. Okay. It's a thousand and twenty squares, <laughs> and then <laughs> divided by two is five hundred and ten. <laughs> so it's two blocks a day. No more than that. Must be how many days a year? Three sixty-five. Yeah, but then what I'm saying is, if it's a thousand, you do the colors, all the color blocks, to one year, and then all the other ones in the next year. Okay, sorry, that's what I was thinking. So it's a two. That was also the suggestion from the viewer. Okay. To make it fun. If you want to do something like a, a make along. Yes. I've got it. Let me see what I cut off in my print. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Uh yarn mm, pattern notes. Well, it's a joining technique, so Okay. We're gonna crochet it together. <laughs> Let me just check from the start. Hmm. Basic motive with a simple button and a joining method, which is a new technique. But there is okay, a full so video we'll... tutorial included. So and we will learn something new. Obviously. Yes. Love it. All right. Okay. So that that sounds like a plan. Let us know what you think about. Yeah. This. If you're if you're thinking of you'll join us, then let us know. Then we'll make it official. Officially okay. unofficial. Anyway. Just to have fun yeah. and not put pressure on ourselves, but just to have somebody to encourage you to actually that's, do the project. That's the main thing, yes. Yes. Okay. And then the last one. I don't think I want to wait a year to do this one. This is the Rain or Shine Socks by Stephen West. I hope you'll be able to see nicely. Looks like a photo. Yeah. Okay. 
so this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry as well but I think this is a very very cool idea nice and scrappy yes it's properly properly scrappy this one um, the pattern's got five sizes actually so you'll be sure it fits actually yes. and he used fingering weight yes and I right. think he did two well, five different types of yarn yeah. so you can actually mix your sock yarns a little bit just all right so i've made a bundle on ravelry for the scrappy project we will add the link down below so i'll just update these into the bundle and then you can have a look at that then it's easier to find and if you have any scrappy project pattern suggestions please drop them down below um, so that we can also see them and share them with other people. We would really appreciate that. Yeah, and then we know what other people like as well, not just yes. our styles. Yes, because I try, in the previous one, I tried to do the to do more than just like one thing, not just garments or like hats or then scarves and like the blanket or some socks, so that we have a little bit of a variety. Yeah, okay, that's good. So yes. yeah, that's everything. Okay, I think we so. have to discuss. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I think that was everything for the for the scrappy projects. Okay. And yes. I um it's good it's still recording. Yeah, it's still recording. Right, right. Sorry. Yeah. Um I've just sat here and thinking that you know all of my scrappy projects at this stage is actually crochet and Tunisian crochet. I don't have any knitting scrappy projects. Just that you're currently working on. Yes. This. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. At least you had the socks. Yes. My scrappy not so scrappy. Yeah. Scrappy socks. Yes. But at the moment I've only got the crochet. So okay. yes. So what are you thinking? Now I'm just sitting and thinking about this um, amigurumi type of things of mine that I'm thinking about. Maybe I should try and knit something as well. But I'm just going to crochet the first ones. And then okay. see what's next for the future. I just want to get this one blanket done. Not because it is frustrating me, but because I would also like to use it. And I'm sure the viewers would like to see some other things. Yeah. And not just this blanket over and over again. <laughs> but it is beautiful. I mean, yeah, the colors yeah. is nice. and Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll say goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And that yeah, you also have some scrappy projects. And if you don't, you have now some inspiration to start some scrappy projects. Making sure we waste nothing. Um, yes. yeah. Yeah. All of the luck for the, for the coming month And we'll yes. see you guys again next month Not sure exactly how we're going to do that one yet But we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep you updated yeah. through podcasts and Instagram and all of those things Yeah. So yeah, I think, I think the nice thing about the pattern inspirations Is that some people can see that Scrappy doesn't necessarily have to be wow, Scrappy in your face Yeah people that doesn't like that so but yes as you said we will see you guys next month for the next episode and uh, until then <laughs> keep on knitting crocheting crafting whatever you do and uh, enjoy <laughs>